today. This um, this video is pretty much going to be about CDL life. Now, let me turn this down so so that I don't have a bunch of echo. Yes, but welcome to the channel, guys. Uh, I am coming to you with another app that is doggone useful. Just um, you know, for truck drivers that are looking for multiple things in one app. And um, I know y'all seen at the beginning of the clip, just different pictures of the, you know, what the app does. Even just me showing examples of how how be sitting in a truck using it. But all you need is this or a laptop or a tablet. And you know, CDL Life serves its purpose for a lot of things. So let's go into what it does. I'll try to get more in depth with this once I can get this thing pretty much pulled up. But let me put my do not disturb on <laughs> so that way I can complete this video without of course being disturbed. So let's get this, the app pulled up. Obviously I have a iPhone this is an iPhone 8 Plus, so it is compatible with iPhones and Androids. So let's get it. Let's get it pulled up, guys. Um, let's see, give me a sec. You see this? Wait a minute. Yes, you see this right here. So when you go in the App Store, you just basically going to type in CDL Life, and it's going to be a white, like a white square with a, a, you know, an icon of a truck, and it, it's gonna say CDL Life. So I already downloaded it, of course, because obviously I need to know what I'm talking about to give you guys facts about this app. So I'm always about just bringing useful tools to truck drivers. So of course so I can be what I just said, useful. So I don't wanna hit my head on this thing because y'all see me knocked out in this place, but yes, let's get it pulled up. So, the one thing that I really do like about this app, you know, as a truck driver, it can get really lonely out here. So for people that really don't have family or you just get really super lonely to where you really have nobody to talk to, this app is very similar to um, social media sites like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, follow me on Instagram at Keep Me One and Trucking if you don't mind me add that in there. But this is what it looks like as far as just talking to folks. So when you go into the app, I believe, because this is what just came up on mine. So that's going to be one of the first screens that come up. And people are going to be posting things like one of the guys named Torn Leary. He's a CEO holder. Um, and he just posted March Madness is coming because you know the truck show is coming up. So I believe um, CDL Life is going to be at the truck show. So that's great. That's great if you want to, I guess, find more about what CDL Life has to offer. But this, the app where I say where you can post things as if it's like a social media site, you have, let me see, you see these tabs right here going all the way across. So the first tab is feed, which is where we at, where you can post things. Then the second tab is where you would do your trip planning, where you would put in addresses of where you want, because it serves as a navigation as well. And trip planning, so this is where you can do your trip planning. So to start with trip planning, you would type on the search bar. So let me type in the address just to see what it would give us. So let's see. I'm gonna just type in. Um, let me type in something. Let me see. Catawba. All right. So usually when you type in something, this is just like Google. Let me see. When you type in something, you see the search bar. It's just like Google and whatever address, of course, if it's in the map, it's going to come up. So when it comes up, you are pretty much going to tap on it. And then, you know, it has it like this to what it looks like once you put it in. So it'll have your current origin. It'll have your current origin, 
you to have your destination that you put in. And then you can add along the stop places like truck stops, um, scales, rest stories, way stations, truck washes. All that stuff means a lot to us, and I always say this, because the whole purpose of driving and trip planning is to save time, and time is money. So if you can trip plan in such a sense that you're adding your fuel and stops onto your route, or you're adding your cat scales onto your route, or like me, I like to work out in rest areas, so I'm adding my rest areas onto my stop. Or of course, if I have to weigh scale my load, um, this has scales on my route. That means a lot because you know I don't have to go 100 miles off route and waste like uh, 50 to 100 dollars of fuel and time. So that always is a plus when it comes to these apps. So um, you just push on one. And I like um, I like Pilots and Loves because the Pilots and Loves are pretty much the cheapest when it comes to diesel fuel. Every now and then you find a TA that beat majority of the prices, but Loves and Pilots pretty much have um, just best fuel prices to me. And then Quick as well. And then you can just put other trucks out because Mom and Pops they have a lot of pretty decent, um, you know, quality, decent cheaper fuel too. So after I put and all the truck stops that I wouldn't mind having on my route, I push start. So the navigation is gonna ask you to confirm the route. And at the bottom it say, no low clearance found. So that's great. So this thing actually will look for low clearances for you. And this is even, this app is even better because, you know, a lot of, matter of fact, navigations like the Ram McNally um, Garmin, even Copilot. Matter of fact, they, they let you know about clear, um, you know, low clearances, but they, they don't let you know until you get close up to it. So I'm believing and guessing that this will let you know way beforehand, which is great. So obviously on this route, um, it's no low clearance, so I know that I'm free to travel my route without fear of, you know, running into a low bridge where, you know, that's dangerous. So. I'm gonna confirm the route. And one um, one truck stop did come up. So if you put in all your criteria for the truck stops that you want, so I put in Love, Pilot, and other truck stops. So there's not really a whole lot of um, truck stops in, um, in Charlotte as far as the major ones. So by me putting in other truck stop, an other, uh, other truck stop came up. You see how you see how it came up at the bottom? So by me putting in that criteria, you know, let's just say I needed fuel. So once I pick this to add to my route, you see this green thing where you can add the stops? So I'm gonna click that and then click confirm. So we're gonna say, okay, yes, I wanna add this. So then it's, then this is this is gonna pop up right here. It says CDL Life would like to access your motions and fitness activity using the accelerator increases battery efficiency by intelli intelligently toggling location tracking only when the device is detected to be moving. So I'm not too sure how that plays a role in what we're doing, but you obviously have to have your location activated, of course, if you want to use the navigation and everything. So I added this out. It even gives the fuel price. So. You see how that fuel price, it even gives the fuel price. So when you pick that, that truck stop, you're not being surprised at, okay, hmm, I wonder how much that fuel is. Is it high? Um, you know, because it's all, especially as a lease operator, even as a company driver, um, a lot of these companies want you to fuel at a certain place anyway. I mean, at all companies, company, these, out, it just, it's all about budgeting, so we want to know prices. So I added that, I'm going to confirm the stop. And then once I confirm the stop, you are, that's giving you free navigation. These apps, <laughs> these apps are going to put Garmin and Ray McDowell and all the small other um, devices out of business, because why would I pay $600, like I done bought two Ram McNally's and both of them are sitting to the side because they just clumped out on me and I paid a good 
six hundred dollars or more for each of them, whereas I have an app that <laughs> is doing the same thing, if not better, than the Rabbit Nelly that you paying almost close to a thousand dollars for. So, like I said, the trip planning is great. So we talked about the fee, which is like social media. We're talking about the trip planning. Now, let's just say we back to being lonely as a truck driver. That's one of the huge things. So, um, as you try to find friends on here, it, like I said, it's similar to a social media site like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, I'm only a keep me one, it's trucking on here, so I almost started, but yeah, so this, the next tab is the friends tab. So you can even start a message. Like this is the friends tab, which is in the middle. And I'm guessing that's only if you already have friends added, but by me just getting this app, um, I don't have friends, so I don't have friends in here. But once you add friends and they know that you're on this app, you know, you add friends as if it was like Facebook, you know, similar to that. And another thing is you even can find jobs on here. So just like 10th Street or Career Builders or Indeed or Craigslist, this is similar to that, to where you can go on there and you can job search, but I haven't set up my profile, so you would have to set up all your personal information. It's kind of like a resume, so to speak. And once you set all of that up, you know, it'll recommend you jobs according to your profile. So that's awesome. So the last but not least tab is, you know, this will, this will pretty much show you everything, like all your previous trips, your profile information, if you want to get in touch with them, maybe you're having problems with the app, or if you just want to sign out. So not bad. And I also get emails from them. They have great information about the industry that keeps you up to date with the trucking industry, like from hours of service to what is Donald Trump doing with trucking to accidents that may occur to which jobs are hiring. I mean, this this CDL Life um, company, they are really good with the trucking community because they look out for you in so many ways. Obviously, if you see on this app from just, you know, having us to socialize amongst each other from, like I said, the trip planning and navigation to making friends to finding jobs. Can't beat it. Can't beat it to have, like I said before, all this stuff in one app that is free. So um, this pretty much will wrap up this video. And like I said, the app is called CDL Life. And they've been out, they've been in business for a good while. And like I said, I've always been getting emails from these guys for a long time. So this is not a new company. Like they've been out for a while and I think people are sleeping on them to where I'm here to wake you up to show you how this can improve your day-to-day -day trucking life. So. All right, guys, if you got any questions, you know, leave a comment below. And as usual, I'll do my best to respond to just as many, um, just as many as I need to. And I shall get to you guys, you know, pretty soon with other videos and other topics that I'm behind on. So time is the essence, everybody. Let's make better time of it. Let's love each other, not judge each other, because I never judge y'all. And the sister love y'all.